So today I decided to go into my workshop to make an oak picture frame. A good day to go into the workshop I think. Oh, just cut 45 degrees on all four of the pieces. And then just to check the cut, check if it's square against the triangle, 45 degrees is it? Oh, yeah, pretty damn good I think. So then I set up a stop block at, on the backing board, just measured it off the corner there, because now I know exactly where the saw is going to cut and then just clamp that piece on the back. I think I might put a, a flat piece on top there where my fingers are so that I can so it'll hold square and be a bit easier to adjust. So that's twelve inches. Just checking it square there. Not entirely sure why, but just checking it square. So then I take one of the shorter rough cut pieces, put it up and cut it. And one of the tricks I've seen is that to get the frame to be square, the opposite pieces of the frame have to be exactly the same length and hence putting the stop block in rather than using a, a tape measure. So there I just check that they're together. I've got to work on my focus a bit. Yeah, so they're the longer pieces. I've moved the stop block So 18 inches this one is. So yeah, it's 14 and 18. And because I haven't routed the frame yet, or the pieces yet, I can cut them all without changing the saw over, which is good. Now I'm quite proud of this, but this is a this is my gluing up frame, so I'm just taking the clamping bits out and putting them in where I think they'll fit. And you've got to clamp for each corner obviously. Clamp for each corner and it just swivels and adjusts. So when you put the frame together on it, put the glue on the corners, 
and then use this to clamp up. And just a butterfly nut for each one to make it easy to take off. And so I don't have to count the holes every time I've marked the holes, all except it would seem this one. There's no numbers against the holes, I don't know why, but anyway. I just forgot. So they just tighten it up. Just needs to be finger tight. There's a little hole in the corner so that the frame can move a little bit, but it also clamps the corners a bit better. So a bit of Gorilla Glue. Just on the two corners, and I've put um, packing tape underneath where the corners are sitting on the frame here so they don't stick. And then with a little bit of adjustment back and forward. Pieces go in, line up the front edge of the frame. Let's move it around a little bit to make sure that it's it is square and putting equal pressure on all the pieces. And then the nice bit, just a couple of butterfly screws on the central bolt there and it tightens it up and clamps it all up and as long as your joints are 45 degrees and square it clamps it all evenly and it's lovely bit of glue squeeze out but I take that off with a just a damp cloth in the top right hand corner there just with a damp cloth and then we can let it set and the glue only takes half an hour it was a lovely warm day to go off but there just checking it with my square engineer square the last one. There you go, that's that for, well I went for lunch now actually, I went and got some lunch. And glue set off nicely. But glue is probably not going to be enough, so I'm cutting some splines on the or some slots for splines on the table saw. I made this little jig just to hold the frame in place. But the way my table saw is set up, the riving knife behind the blade is a pain in the neck to take on and off. So I've left it on and I'm just speeded this up because I'm having to start and stop the saw every time. But yeah, make the cuts on one side and then I'll move the saw across three mils and I'll get a six mil slot in each corner to put in a bit of spline, basically a bit of six mil ply.
So now it's just a case of having put in a little bit of 6mm ply into the corners, just cutting it off fairly close to the frame. I glued them in and the glue went off after about an hour. I left it a little bit longer and now I'm just cutting them off. I haven't sorted out my bench yet with hold fasts or other ways of gripping and I think I was hungry hence not clamping the uh, the frame down and it moving around but no matter I was able to just trim them off pretty close to the frame to knock the camera over while I'm doing it. Yes, it's still in frame. <laughs> trimmed off pretty close just with a handsaw and then got the random orbital sander out just to smooth off the corners and the joins because it had got a bit rough and then just smoothed down where I'd cut off with the the saw the little splines so they're nice and flush. Now just to put the rebate in the back of the frame to take the acrylic sheet the picture and then the back of the frame. Then just freehand round out the back of the frame. Just set it up and
square true groove in the back. So the last part, just the assembly. All the pieces, that's the acrylic. I've still got the protective film on both sides. And then the backing board. The picture's actually back in the house, but I didn't want to bring it out and get it all dusty. And then I got some little brass clips to hold the backing board on and one, two, three, four tiny, tiny little screws which I actually proved to be a bit of a pain in the neck to put in but they look really nice so I've shortened down here what you see It's just little brass cleats like that, clips or whatever you call them. Three, four. And there you have it, one finished oak picture frame.